We are tracking the potential for some heavier showers as we're going into Tuesday and Wednesday, particularly over the eastern half of the state. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. Let's break down what's going on in the atmosphere. A quick look at what's going on outside. You can see these upper level clouds have been moving across the state over the last couple of hours on our satellite imagery, moving over Hawaii Island, Maui County, and also getting to Oahu. This is all because of an upper level disturbance that is currently positioned off towards the southwest. And air rotates counterclockwise around low pressure like this so it's pulling a lot of moisture up from the south which could turn into a better chance for some heavy rainfall we also have a weak cold front that's off towards our northwest that's going to cut us off from the trade wind flow making very weak trade winds out there on tuesday and wednesday and the upper level low pressure system continues to pull moisture up from the south some of that could reach hawaii island throughout tuesday and some of that moisture could get embedded into the trade wind flow going into wednesday strong trade winds are expected on thursday and friday so breaking down the local view this is the European weather model. It's a global model that we take a look at. It's not showing as much rainfall as some of the other models like the GFS. You can see a lot of the rainfall, particularly in this instance, stays off to the east, stays offshore of Hawaii Island, moves up towards the north as we're going into Tuesday evening, then kind of gets embedded in the trade wind flow and gives a better chance for windward showers as we're going into Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. However, the American model, the GFS model, has been showing more moisture moving onshore Hawaii Island and up towards the north, kind of like what we were seeing with the European weather model, giving a better chance for some showers and heavier showers over near Hawaii Island and windward Maui and then that moisture gets caught up in the trade wind flow going into Wednesday morning kind of giving us this wet weather pattern we're expecting out there and like I mentioned alongside lighter trade winds as that weak cold front moves in on Tuesday between 5 to 10 miles per hour some areas could see some wind gusts getting closer to 15 miles per hour and then strong trade winds are going to be building in as we go into Wednesday Thursday and Friday so we're watching for the potential for some heavy rainfall out there i've got a much more in-depth breakdown on my youtube you can find that in the link and my bio